The steam turbine uses hot reheat steam to add motive force to the turbine rotor. Reheat steam is a combination of turbine high pressure exhaust and HERSIG generated intermediate steam that is heated and piped to the steam turbine. Steam travels along the reheat steam line to the reheat steam bypass to condenser intersection. Under startup or trip conditions, the steam may be bypassed to the condenser by means of a bypass valve. When the hot reheat bypass line is used, hot reheat steam is bypassed directly to the condenser. Steam that is directed to the condenser through the bypass valve is desuperheated to acceptable pressure and temperature levels for entry into the condenser. When the steam turbine is capable of accepting hot reheat steam, the steam passes from the condenser bypass valve intersection to the hot reheat steam stop check isolation valve. Downstream of the stop check isolation valve, the hot reheat piping combines with the other HERSIG reheat discharge and continues as a single pipe to the steam turbine area. This piping arrangement allows the hot reheat from both HERSIGs to combine as a single hot reheat steam source to the turbine. The reheat steam piping splits to go to two sets of valves, one set on each side of the steam turbine. Each reheat steam valve set consists of a stop valve and an intercept valve. With the stop and intercept valves open, steam flows into the two reheat steam inlets on the bottom of the steam turbine casing. In the event of a turbine trip, the reheat stop and intercept valves will close rapidly to shut off steam flow to the reheat and LP sections of the steam turbine. The reheat steam flows into the first stage and then proceeds through the remaining five stages in the intermediate pressure section of the steam turbine. The steam flows through stationary diaphragms and rotating blades in the same manner as was shown in the high pressure turbine blading. As the reheat exits the last stage of the intermediate pressure section, it mixes with the incoming low pressure steam and flows to the low pressure section of the turbine.